close your eyes and watch your breath. And breath is the force of life. It comes in and that's birth. It goes out, that's death, but then it's followed by birth again, again and again, around and around. And you want to stay right here. The breath comes in, you don't move in and out with the breath. The image that John Lee gives is of a post planted at the edge of the ocean. The waves rise, the waves fall, but the post stays right there. You want to have your mind firmly planted right here. Don't let it be a post that's just lying there on the beach, because the, the waves can get it and they can th toss it around. You can run into somebody and break an arm, break a leg. Or the post itself gets smashed against the, the reefs and the rocks. It doesn't really accomplish anything at all. Most of our minds, most of the time, our minds are like that. They're just washed around by the waves. You want to have a mind that's really firm, that regardless of what happens, good, bad, indifferent, the mind is not going to be moved. It's not going to be shaken. So try to practice that right here. The breath comes in, the breath comes out. Sometimes it's just a little tiny sound and you're off. Shows your mind is not really solid at all. A bird sound, or a sound of a watch, whatever. Suddenly the mind can start proliferating all kinds of thoughts. You want to have a mind that's firm in the face of whatever comes up. Because as the Buddha said, you know, there's gain and there's loss. There's status, there's loss of status. There's praise, criticism, pleasure, and pain. These are the things the world has to offer. If you want the world to be only good, you're in the wrong world. It's going to have both kinds. So you have to learn how to accept that and have to learn how to keep the mind from feeding on these things. It's because you feed on these things that then you get a stomachache when something doesn't, something's not good. But if they're there in one place and the mind is there in another place, then you can live with one another and you don't have to be worried about the good or the bad. And this way the mind is freed from a lot of influences that otherwise would just push it around, make it do things that it later regrets, things that are harmful. So try to keep your mind firm like that post at the edge of the beach. The storms come, the waves come, but the post stays right there. It's and it's so solid that you begin to learn about the storms and the waves. It's because they have measuring equipment that they can test how high the sea went. If the post is washing around in the water, you can't use it to measure anything at all. But when the post is firm, okay, then you can measure, okay, this is how this is, this is how that is. You can see things clearly for what they are. And so having this firm post is useful in lots of ways. So do your best to keep it firm. If you notice that little things push you off, okay, so make up your mind. No, no matter what, you're going to stay right here. Plant your attention firmly right here in the breath, right here in the body, right here in the present moment. And you find that bit by bit by bit the mind does gain strength. 